Hey guys, this is Eni. Um, look, I'm just trying to make a quick tutorial on how to use a WRobot Quest Profile Editor, um, just so you folks can create and modify Quest profiles. Look, um, to start, you're gonna have to open up a uh, WRobot. Obviously, log into a character. You're gonna have to go to Main, Quester, Product Settings, and open up the Profile Editor. Um, so, pretty much in the Profile Editor, you got three main tabs that I use. You got the Quest Editor which is where you actually define the quests you're going to be getting the bot to do. Um, the quest order editor, which will tell the bot what order you want to complete the profile in. And then you'll need to open up the NPC quest giver, which will tell the bot what NPCs can give quests and what NPCs you can hand quests into. So we'll go back here and we're going to start with the very basic quest, which is the, the cutting teeth. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to actually, when you're first writing the profile, you need to accept it. Um, generally what I do is I just grab the quest name itself and you put it through Google and usually Wowhead is the first first answer to the search. So um, you go in there and in the URL it actually gives you the quest profile, uh, sorry, the, uh, the quest ID. So you, you just grab that quest ID, um, you jump back into the profile editor and we're going to make a new quest and that creates a blank quest um, you're going to enter the quest ID which you, you pulled from from Wowhead um, and you're going to tell WRobot to try and complete that quest just using the ID so when you hit that button uh, you can see it automatically populates it so it's cutting teeth which is correct the objective count which is six um, you know we need, we need to kill six balls so we've created the quest however we haven't told the robot where the quest takes place and what. So we know that you know cutting teeth is pretty basic. You need to to kill six boars. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump back on the character and we're going to move into where we need to be. So we're currently at the location where the boars are and all you need to do is add the target position and add the target ID. Now the target ID will be any NPC with the same name as what you're currently targeting. Um, if you try and add it twice, it of course tells you it's already in the list. So what you need to do is tell it all the hotspots that you need that you can see this NPC at. Um, the more hotspots, the better. Otherwise, if you have just a couple, the bot just runs around two or three hotspots and doesn't really pick them all up. Um, and also, you want to kind of, where possible, have it in like a nice circular motion. If you just have like two or three hotspots, the the bot starts doing pretty jagged turns. You don't really want that. Okay, so what we've done here is we've added multiple hotspots where the boars have been seen and the target entry itself. Okay, um, so what we need to then do is we need to tell, we've defined the quest, we now need to tell the bot to actually do the quest. Okay, so you're going to try and be doing this when you're AFK. Um, that's really why you build a bot. So you, you need to tell the, 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 you need to write into the profile um, who gives you the quest um, and who you can hand it into. So I'm going to remove this quest from the quest log and jump back into the profile editor and I'm going to grab the quest ID again. I'm going to select the NPC that actually gives me the quest. I'm going to create a brand new NPC and the easy part about this is this NPC is my target. Now I'm going to let the bot know that he can that NPC I can pick up quest 25126 which is cutting teeth and also I can turn in quest 25126 um, okay so there we go so we've defined the quest here who gives and who can turn in who, who you can turn the quest into now we're just going to tell what order you want this all to be done in so you want an action type. Generally, there's there's three main action types. First one is pick up, which is pick up the quest. Second is pulse, which is to actually execute the quest. Now, this will tell the bot go out and go through the quest objectives, which we defined over here. Go to these go to these locations and target these enemies. So you know, and then when that's complete, when that objective count is complete up here, that's six. You can then move on to the next step of the profile. So let's go pick up, cutting teeth. So we want the bot to pick it up. We want the bot to pulse it, which we, have, like, we want it to actually complete. 
and then we want to turn in cutting teeth. Okay, so that is the work for one quest. We're going to then save it. Um, so we save the profile. We're then going to jump in here. Uh, and there's the profile right there. And we're going to start. See the bot picks up the quest. And now we can see the bot is now just going to go out to those predefined hotspots we defined. And he's going to go out and start hacking on some hacking on some boars. Okay, so we're now just coming up to the last bore. You can see he's completed six. And if we go to the game settings, you can see we're now trying to turn in that that quest. Um, and of course, because we defined it back in the the quest editor that this NPC was the one to turn in the quest, he the the bot is actually going off and doing that now. Um, There we go. So he's now completed that quest. Uh, look, we didn't define any further quests, but all you'd need to do is, you know, for another, if you wanted to continue with the quest line, you'd need to add an additional quest, um, pull the quest, go, um, get the quest ID, add it, and then you need to add another one, which would be pick up quest number two, pulse quest number two, and then turn in quest number two. Um, you sort of go on from there. It, it becomes kind of easy after a while. The only other thing to really note is where does I was just talking about simple kill and loot quests, which is you know go out and kill six boars. You got other types as well. Um, the other types are use item on, gatherer, and they're fairly self-explanatory once you get the whole idea of what's going on. Gatherer is going to be same sort of thing. You set a hotspot, but instead of killing something, you actually want to interact with a a, a a game object. So you need to get the game object ID, same sort of thing, just put it through Google and usually Wowhead will come up pretty quick. And you'll tell the bot, when you're in this location, I want you to look for this game object ID and I want you to pick it up. Um, it, it's really, really simple. Uh, you can get quite complex with it, but generally speaking I find the easy quests are the best for, for leveling. If you start making it too complex, you start running the risk that the bot won't work as you'd expect and you, you get hung up and it, it looks, looks pretty bad. So yeah, just keep, keep to the normal use item on, gather, and kill quests, and you should have no problems writing out some, some pretty extensive profiles there. Um, yeah, I, I think that should be all you really need to know, and I um, hope this sort of cleared up a few a few questions for people. Cheers.